useful and it gives us questions as well so how how can we improve it and wow look at that so it's actually giving us things that we can improve so this is something that github copilot does not do so if you've been alive on this planet recently you've probably heard of github copilot and one of the craziest statistics that came out a few months ago was that over 40 percent of all code on github is now ai generated so github Co copilot is this amazing tool for those of you that don't know that you can pretty much just write in some comments and it will try and autocomplete or while you're writing code it will autocomplete this code however a it's pretty expensive and b it sort of lacks the chat gpt chat interface features right so cody is a sort of competitor to github copilot that not only has autocompletes but allows you to actually interface with the code and chat with the code. So today we're gonna to check it out and actually see how good is it and can it replace GitHub Curler Pilot. So a bunch of the features include sort of fixing up inline code. You can do code autocomplete and then you can also interface with the code. So let's have a look. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is come to your extensions and install Kodi through VS Code. They also have a desktop version to if you're on Mac or Linux, which allows you to interface with any code on your desktop, not just in VS Code. So this is the code for my automatic Twitter API. And if we come down to this plugin, we can now actually interface with the code and ask it questions. What does this code do? And now we're getting this generating response back, telling us exactly what this code does. This is a Twitter API, and it gives you a pretty good understanding. So if you're looking through a code base that you don't understand or haven't written, this is a very nice summary tool. And it gives us questions as well. So how, how can we improve it? And wow, look at that. So it's actually giving us things that we can improve. So this is something that GitHub Copilot does not do. Add error handling, including images, videos, supporting tweet. Wow. So that's great. Okay, so let's actually go into some of the other features. So one of the features that is the most similar to Copilot is the autocomplete. So there we go. Check each tweet is under 280 cars. For tweet in tweets, tweet is left. The length of the tweet is long. Tweet, tweet way too long. Okay, see, so it's pretty much similar, maybe a little bit slower, if, if anything. But what the really cool thing here is this plus icon. Right? So we can actually interface with this code in just these small functions. So we can come here, we can select this and we can hit plus and then we actually get an inline code. So what does this code do? And now we're getting a response. So it's actually giving a response based on the exact code snippet. Now, how about we actually want to change something in here? So we say fix, check each tweet is under 280 cars. Fix each tweet and then pass it to an LLM instance. Okay, so it's working away. Let's show the difference, let's have a look. Okay, so tweets, so we can see it's building a new LLM, chat open AI with a model 3.5, full range, blah, blah, blah. And then it's doing, wow. So LLM.predict tweets I, and then it's just cutting it off. Okay, so we do need to maybe give it better instructions like passing a prompt, but it's pretty much understanding what what I need to do. It's looking at the previous code as well, how to actually create an LLM instance. So if we like that, we just hit apply and it's applied. But actually, let's let's try and get it to fix it. Let's do fix. Make sure you send a prompt to chat GPT to, to truncate. The thing here is probably just messing up because Langchain and this new API and ways to interface with ChatGPT is probably not something that uh, the model's been trained on. We're working on Anthropic at the moment. We're not actually working on ChatGPT. Also, Cody works on Anthropic, but you can change it to work on ChatGPT as well. Let's show the difference. There we go. Okay. Shorten this tweet and it's passing in the tweet. So there we go. So it's understood and it's done that. Wow. But even another thing that we can do, but let's have a look at the, the command palette. Let's have a look at the commands. Cody, let's document this code. Wow, there we go. So it's gone away, understood it, and documented the code. So we can come here, get our cursor, insert a cursor, and there we go. We've got a complete description. And you can do this for your entire, your entire code file as well. Another amazing thing here is let's highlight this function. Let's come here to the commands. 
Cody generate unit tests. So unit tests are super annoying and every developer hates actually writing them. But here we go. It's going to take this code and generate all your unit tests for you. So there is still a little bit of errors. So this is actually generated unit tests for the previous the previous part of code, even though this was selected, but it's maybe the way I'm I'm using this. What if we want to fix write some good comments? Show diff. Okay, those look good. Let's apply those. Wow, so we've got some really, really nice comments. And they're actually useful as well. So I've been using this for a little bit already, and it in my opinion, I do think it's slightly better than GitHub. In some ways, in some ways, GitHub Codepilot is better. It turns quicker with auto completions, but the the level of auto completions is is variable. Sometimes Kodi does better. Sometimes GitHub Codepilot does better. But what I really like is this ability to interface with your code and ask questions. So the amazing thing is. You can just ask it anything, you know, how to improve, what do I need to improve? It's basically ChatGPT integrated into your VS code. So here it's telling me I should probably do a, an error catching, which is correct because I get loads of errors when I try and post tweets. And the thing is, Cody, this is in beta format. They're working on it every day. And I could definitely see this becoming a huge competitor to Copilot. And the last thing I actually forgot to mention is here is that Copilot only really looks at your file and like the adjacent files that you have open. What it doesn't look is at the whole repo. So this is a really small repo. I've just got like two files. What you can do come in here is you can actually give Cody your Git repository URL. It will take your entire repo, vectorize it, put it into a vector database. And then when you're doing your chat and when you're getting your auto completions, it's going to look at your whole code base. So if you've got a really, really large like website or big code base, you're going to get much better auto completions and be able to interface with that code base way better than you can with GitHub Copilot, which still looks at a very granular level of data. Now, if you found this interesting and you're a company that wants to work with me, I've got an email in the description or if you want to book an hour of my time to go over some code or some project ideas, I've got a link for that too. I'll see you next time.